it's a tricky area, but because you've lived in both worlds, in the theater world and in the opera world, and lived, your career span has seen a lot of changes, which is why I wanted to sort of yeah, well, get into that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it I'm talking to you, it's, it's some of it I've thought about, some of it I haven't thought about, but it just strikes me that, that there are, um, that I'm right in a lot of those things. And who is supporting opera in America now? The wealthy. Both the kind of pocket opera and new operas and the Met Opera? Pocket opera is supported by people who are not wealthy. They're supported by the middle class. Um, there's, a, there's a little company called Urban Arias, and they do um, little operas in bars. And they're supported by a middle class, and the bars are occupied by um, guys who work in insurance or whatever. And it's hugely successful, and it's not very expensive. There's no production values. It's just really good singers and really good stories. And it works. And that's, there's a lot of that in the States, being supported by, you know, friends of friends of friends. You have $500 here or $1,000 there. But you're not getting the big $500,000 grants that the Met needs. When I first saw music videos start to appear, I knew they were a promotional tool. But I also ask, are they a very popular culture form how did you define opera? Song story. Fair enough, then they are. I remember hearing a man named Lowry, who was then head of the Vienna State Opera. He gave a talk at the National Arts Center on opera. And, and I was there at the time and heard him, and he, somebody asked him about musical comedy in a rather disparaging way. And he said, oh, I just think you have to expand your definition of opera. It's a really good answer. <laughs> I don't. I don't recall a lot of comic mm -hmm. operas. I, re, I recall a lot of tragedy, a lot of pain, a lot of angst. Yeah. I don't recall a lot of, apart from Mozart, a lot of comedy. Am I mistaken? Mozart, Handel, a lot of comedy in Handel. Which Handel opera? Lots of, almost all of them have some comedy in them. There's always a character who is a comic figure, always. Uh, comic figure. Yeah, and consequently, you have a lot of comic. Xerxes is a wonderful, uh, which is not a tragedy, but there's wonderful comic scenes at the beginning of that opera. Really wonderful scenes. Um, Merry Widow, Flatermouse, Land of Smiles. I mean, that we call them operettas. They're operas. They operas with dialogue. I mean, I don't, I don't care what you. I mean, I like Lowry. Expand your definition of opera. Right. West Side Story, My Fair Lady, Guys and Dolls. Where do you put Stephen Sondheim? Um, I don't know what you mean. Well, he's traditionally, in theory, been part of musical uh, musical comedy, musical theater. But well, he Swin is Sweeney Todd's done by opera companies all over the world, and I think even some have done. Well, when I was um, artistic director of Cleveland, we did. Um, um, oh, help me, Smiles of a Summer Night that he did. Right. Um, the Burton from the Burton piece. Yeah, um, what's it called? A Little Night Music. We did that as an opera company. So, I mean, expand your definition. I mean, you can make it, you can have a definition and make subcategories, but in, in essence, the word opera means work. <laughs> 